registered dietitian for SOS Mentor and welcome to the Take Action program. This is a partnership project with Beyond the Bells Middle School's Take Action Leadership Campaign or MTAC. The objectives of the Take Action program are to increase students' knowledge about nutrition and healthy eating which can lead to a better lifestyle, to inspire students to engage in physical activity and provide exercise training and experience, and to enable students to create healthy environmental change in their school. So Take Action is a four-week program where students are going to meet two times a week for one hour each time. At each workshop, students are going to get a five to ten minute nutrition lesson. Then the majority of time is going to be spent on the creation of the project where students will advocate for a healthier school environment. The Take Action Nutrition component is a partnership with Beyond the Bell, as I have mentioned, um, MTAC. And in this program, students are going to work on an advocacy project with the Beyond the Bell Take Action staff members. As a class, students get to choose their project and plan its implementation. It will need to get approved by the principal and be completed in the four-week time period. Their goal is to influence other students on campus as they advocate for a healthier lifestyle. Students may work in small groups of four to five um, to make the project happen if that seems like a more efficient way to do it. There is a small budget up to $250 in case the project that your students want to do requires some supplies. Um, there's an additional physical activity component where the students will meet once a day for 10 to 14 weeks um, to, work on, to work out for valuable skill building training. So um, there's some examples of project ideas that I just want to bring up. Um, there, so some ideas are you could do the creation of posters advertising healthy behaviors that they put up throughout the school, getting healthier foods in the school store, starting a nutrition, cooking, or exercise club on campus, um, finding ways to encourage students to eat lunch at school, because I know a lot of students don't, um, creating a healthy living page for the school website or school newspaper, this is a great way for families to see what they're working on. Um, creating a healthy eating cookbook. Posting the lunch menu um, weekly or monthly, because I know a lot of students, students don't always know what's being served. Um, and there's a whole bunch of more ideas um, on the back of your teacher manual, which I'll show you. Um, each group of students should have something to contribute each week to the final project. So you're going to receive a box, and this box will have all the materials you'll need for the program. So I'm just going to quickly go through the box. Um, the first thing that you're going to get is your green folder. So inside here is the staff reference guide. This is all the nutrition um, lessons. So for instance, the first page, page one, is for lesson one. So you'll go through this whole lesson with the students um, for those first five or ten minutes of the workshop. There's lots of questions, so we really want to make this interactive. So, um, you know, give students a chance to answer. Um, and also, they'll get raffle tickets the more they participate. So each page coincides with each, each workshop. And then you're going to have your teacher manual. So the teacher manual has... Um, the agenda for the orientation, it has um, the incentives that you'll share with the students, a student teaching families worksheet, um, which the students are going to fill out around week five, and then here's the agenda for each of the workshops. So you can just follow along with your teacher manual um, for each workshop. The last page, here's some project ideas and kind of some step-by-step -step things that the students can do to make those projects happen. And then on the very back cover is a whole bunch more project ideas. So there's a ton to choose from. Um, you just want to make sure to get approval from the principal for whatever project that's decided on. Um, that's really important. And let students know that as well. All right. so. You have a bag of raffle prizes in here. Every week you're going to do, a, or every workshop you're going to do a raffle for the students who participate, who attend, um, so they can choose a prize out of here. You have the raffle tickets to give out, and then the raffle bags. You can draw the winner out of here. You're going to get a container full of pencils for the students if they need them. And then you have 
at orientation, the students are going to take pre-tests, and then they're going to take the same test again at um, culmination. So you have the pre-test and the post-test in your box. So, um, and they'll be clipped together that's with a note that says it's for orientation, for culmination. You also have an incentive sheet. So this is a sheet that the students can look over to see how they can be eligible for certain raffle prizes at culmination. So you'll go over this with them at orientation. And there's a Students Teaching Families worksheet. This they'll get at Workshop 5 um, to take home with their, for their parents and then bring back. Um, and I'm going to go through all of those in the videos, the next few videos. So that's everything in the box. Um, teachers, before each workshop, make sure you watch the training video that goes with it and go through the staff reference guide and your teacher manual just so you know what to expect. Thank you so much for participating in the Take Action program. We really hope you enjoy the program and that the students enjoy transforming their school into a healthier environment.